In this video we're going to go over how to use the data manager sheet. This sheet is used to manage all the data going in and out of the application. Before we get into how to manage data in the application. Let's look at the different types of data files you will be working with. First, we have the application.exe program file. This is the file that is downloaded to your computer when you purchase the Money Mousetrap. You must launch this file each time you want to use the application. For easy access, you should either create a desktop link to this file or simply place a copy of this file in your desktop folder. The user import export app data.xlsx file allows you to export raw uncompiled user data to a regular Excel spreadsheet. You could then send this data to your CPA or import this data file into new versions of the application as they are made available. Next, we have the saved user app.xlsc file. This is the compiled user file you create after opening the main application. You can create as many of these files as needed. It is recommended that you create one file per banking institution. For example, if you bank at your money credit union, you could create a file your money cu.xlsc. You could even add the year, your money cu, 2022.xlsc, if you plan to create a new file every year. To create this file for the first time, you must first open the main application. Next select file from the top left corner. Click on save. You will then be prompted to select a file name and location for your new .xlsc file. From now on, every time you close the main program you will be prompted to save changes to this file. In most cases the file name and location will already be populated in the save dialog box. Just click save and then OK, to overwrite and update the xlsc file. The mobile data.xlsx file, is a simple uncompiled Excel spreadsheet. It only has one table and can be opened on your cell phone. You can then enter transactions on the go and later import them into the main application. Finally, we have the bank data.csv file. This is a common text file used by many banks. CSV stands for comma separated values. This is the file format you will select to download transactions from your bank's online bank account portal. After downloading your bank transactions into this file, you can import them into the main application. This is a major time saver and greatly enhances the overall workflow while using the application. As stated earlier, the main application exe file needs to be launched every time you need to use the application. At each launch of this program, you will see a dialog box giving you three options. 1. Open original workbook. This simply opens a blank new workbook with no user data in it. 2. Saved file, allows you to select a previously saved.xlsc file to open. 3. Load a recent file. Here you have the option to select a recently saved.xlsc file from a drop-down list. Now that we have a better understanding of the different data files we are working with. Let's go over the function buttons that are located across the top of the data manager screen. Starting with the show help button. Checking this box will open a group of tool tips showing you step by step how to import and paste transactions into your transaction registry. Click the show help button again to hide these tool tips. The account settings button will take you to a separate screen where you can enter account names for your checking and savings accounts. The select application data file and restore all application data button allows you to import data from a saved import export data file. Use this button when you need to upgrade to a new version of the application. The Clear Data Manager Sheet button will delete all visible data on this sheet only. No other data in the application is affected by this action. The Select App Data File button allows you to load data from a saved import export data file. This information is loaded but does not immediately overwrite user data in the application. To update the data throughout the application, you must go to each sheet and restore the data separately. Use this feature if you want to import data from another file, but don't want to overwrite everything in the currently opened application. The Export All App Data button is used to create the raw import export app data.xlsx file. If you are upgrading to a newer version of the application, you would use this button to first export all your application data in the old version. You would then open the new version and import this same file using the Select Application and Restore All Application Data button. The Select Bank Data File button allows you to select the CSV file that you will use to import your bank data. The Import Bank Data File button allows you to import data from the selected CSV file. The Select Mobile Data File button allows you to select the mobile data file used to capture data on your mobile device.
Export Mobile Data File button allows you to import that data. Paste to Checking will paste all selected transactions to the checking account. In the same way the Paste to Savings button will paste all selected transactions to the savings account. Now let's look at other parts of the Data Manager page. The current balance box captures the current balance of the checking account register. These two blue boxes will show the file name and location of the selected data file. The Bank Mobile Data File column header list is captured from the selected data file. Here the program will list all the row header names for the selected data file so that you can map them into the application. The green header row shows the current headings for the mouse trap registry layout. Just below this row is a list of drop-down boxes that can be used to map the data file headers, so that they match the application headers. This will allow you to line up the transactions that are listed with the transactions that are in the registry. So now let's go through the process of downloading and selecting a data file and pasting those transactions into a registry. The first step in this process is to go to your online banking portal and log into your account. Look for the feature that allows you to export transactions to a CSV file. Each banking institution may have a slightly different process for doing this. If you are having problems, contact customer support for your particular bank and ask them how to export a CSV file. Save this file to a specific location that's easy to find on your computer's hard drive. My suggestion would be to put it in the downloads folder or directly on your desktop. The key thing to remember here is that the file needs to be easy to find because you will need to use that file later when you are on the data manager page. Once you have the file saved to your hard drive, you will need to open the file and inspect it. It is necessary to do this the first time you download a CSV file because different banking institutions may put the header row on a different row other than row 1. If the header row is not on row 1, then go back to the data manager page and update the yellow cell just to the left of the header list, type in the row number of the header in your bank data file. It is not necessary to do this every time you open or download a CSV file, unless your banking institution changes the row the header is on. If the header row is already on row 1 you don't need to do anything, just close the CSV file and proceed to the next steps. Step 1. From the data manager page select the bank data file button. In the dialog box that appears, locate the file you just downloaded and click open. You should now see the name and location of the file you just selected in the blue cells to the left. Step 2. Select the import bank data file button. You should now see a list of column names in the bank mobile data file column header list. This information is captured from the selected bank data file. Step 3. At this point, you will need to map out the header names to match the header names in the money mousetrap. To do this simply select from the drop-down list under the appropriate column a name that closely matches the name in your data file. Note here that this process must only be done the first time you download or use a new CSV file. From this point on, the columns will automatically be mapped out according to the selected CSV data file. Step 4. Click and drag your mouse to highlight all the transactions you wish to transport and paste to your checking or savings registry. Step 5. With these transactions selected, click the appropriate Paste To button. The application will now jump from the Data Manager page over to the selected checking or savings registry and show you the pasted transactions. Step 6. Check your application account balance to make sure that it matches the account balance at your banking institution. If the account balances do not match, it's most likely because you pasted a duplicate transaction into your checking or savings register, or you left out a transaction when you selected the transactions from the data manager page. Promptly make any necessary changes by deleting or adding transactions until the application account registry balance matches the bank registry balance. The only thing left to do at this point is to assign categories to these newly pasted transactions. Repeat this process periodically, and you will find that the workflow is very intuitive and simple, making moving data from your bank into the application a very seamless and stress-free process.